back to another one of our vlogs. This vlog is super special, so we're really excited to bring this one to you. Mo and I are in Las Vegas. I am here attending and presenting at the Spine Summit Conference of 2022. It is being held here at the Caesars Palace. We got in yesterday, just after some of the conference events had finished up. So we took the evening, just relaxed, and I fine-tuned my presentation. <laughs> conference it's about 7 in the morning uh, all neurosurgery events start late even conferences um, so here I am 7 in the morning I'm about to attend the conference uh, there are all the big names in spine surgery here from various universities many people in both uh, academic institutions and private institutions as well as industry all come together talk about research talk about the latest innovations in spine surgery and spine health so very excited to be here learn as much as I can and uh, have a great time and network and, and meet some uh, awesome people as well. So make sure you guys stay tuned. I'm gonna take you around with me throughout some parts of the conference, show you a little bit about what it's like, and uh, also show you a little bit about uh, kind of what we do in, in Las Vegas as well after the conference is over. Okay, so we just finished the first day at Spine Summit. It was absolutely incredible. Uh, there were so many great talks by so many of the best names in spine surgery, ranging from spinal oncology, degenerative spine, scoliosis, wound healing, all the various subspecialties. So really educational and great experience. Right now I'm like uh, really nerding out on all the great content that I'm seeing. There's so many vendors 
as well, which are, who are bringing sort of the, the latest in technology and in collaborations to spine, uh, both surgical and non-surgical management. Really incredible stuff uh, from the whole field and, and all the, the experts in, in a lot of the different subspecialties of spine. So it's just been an amazing experience getting to really see all the different areas of growth and exciting opportunities here coming to you in the near future. So now that we're done for the day, um, our plan is to have dinner and then uh, just sort of see the town a little bit. And then tomorrow again, I have to be up bright and early for the beginning of our conference and I have to be fresh and ready to go for my presentation tomorrow. So make sure you stay tuned. We'll, we'll show you guys a little glimpse of my presentation and I hope you enjoy. So yesterday was so much fun. We had a great time. We went out for a nice dinner, uh, took the evening to kind of explore the Bellagio Hotel, walked around the gardens for a little bit and uh, came to bed. Today it is uh, seven in the morning right now. I am suited up and ready to give my talk. Uh, this is the research that I had been working on with one of my mentors who does uh, work in spinal oncology. So basically all sorts of cancers to the spine. And so I'm very excited to and, and honored to be able to present this research uh, to the group in the spinal oncology subsection. So I'm ready to go, follow me, and hope it goes well. See ya. This was a retrospective analysis of 96 consecutive patients with the thoracic ventricular metastasis undergoing transpedicular. All right guys, so we are finally all done with work here on this trip. I had my presentation this morning. It went so well. Actually, now we're at the Venetian. I stayed here before and I wanted to bring him back because there's a really good smoothie place. It's called Juice Farm. And which one did you end up getting? We got the uh, the protein, Popeye protein smoothie. It's really good. Um, especially like if you're dehydrated after a fun night out. <laughs> um, and then I got coffee and uh, pan au chocolat. Is that how you say it? Pan au chocolat. <laughs> from Bouchon Bakery. It's delicious. We have brunch reservations in an hour, so we're just kind of hanging out and walking around. Guys, so it is Saturday afternoon. We are at the Amex Centurion Lounge. We came a little bit early before our flight to just kind of relax and uh, have a smooth check-in process. So we're now having a drink, getting ready for our flight and uh, heading back to Columbus. I am on call tomorrow. So I'm working 5.30 in the morning. We reach around midnight. So a few hours of sleep and then back, uh, back to work. Anyways, we're gonna wrap up this vlog and uh, we'll catch you guys later. Cheers.